Welcome everybody to Extreme Power No Handling and today we're dealing with the 2014 Infinity Q50 Air Rouge. Now this has 1,002 horsepower, 756 pounds feet of torque from a 4.1 litre twin turbocharged V6 engine and the car itself weighs 3,839 pounds. It's got all wheel drive, it can do 0 to 16 3.477 seconds, 0 to 106.046 seconds, going into a top speed of 245 miles an hour so uh, yeah I know this is another all-wheel drive modern vehicle but these tend to put in the more interest in the results than the uh, than real wheel drive vehicles that are modern or old either way uh, so yeah if any car is going to be able to topple that Ford Focus RS from the top of the leaderboard it's going to be a car like this and uh, yeah it could even potentially break the 1 minute 20 barrier which we have yet had a car to do but that Ford Focus did come incredibly close that's a second behind that 1 minute 20 barrier so uh, yeah I'm hoping this Affinity can do well even if it doesn't do break the, uh, beat the Ford Focus I hope it at least comes into the top 10 because it is one of my favourite cars on the game and it's been a favourite of mine in the Forza series ever since it was introduced so uh, yeah I'm hoping it does do well and it's got plenty of it going for it obviously it's got good acceleration it's got plenty of power and torque it's got that all wheel drive system that will help keep all that power in check and uh, yeah, it's not the lightest of vehicles that we've had on this series, but considering how much power it's got, I'm hoping the, the power will offset any extra weight over the likes of the Ford Focus RS or other all-wheel drive vehicles. So uh, yeah, let's get out there and see what it can do. So yeah, the all-wheel drive system, even without any extra power, would obviously help in the rain. So it will hopefully help a little bit here. It's mostly going to be having to deal with that extra power. Obviously the big problem with the uh, additional weight over other all-wheel drive vehicles that we've had on the series is obviously coming in terms of braking. Obviously the more weight you have, the high rate of speed, the more momentum you've got to scrub off before to come into a corner, which is one reason why all-wheel drive SUVs haven't done as well as, say, all-wheel drive hot hatchbacks or saloon cars like this. Oops, you know, they got that corner way too soon. So it's a mistake to learn from. It's better to do it now than uh, when we're doing a uh, quick lap. Moment 27.469 seconds is not a bad lap time, especially considering that little, little incident at the Hammerhead. Much better through there this time. Big improvement there at 1 minute 22.522 seconds, which easily puts it in the top 5. Hopefully we can improve upon that time further.
fight improvement there, 1 minute 22.154 seconds. Puts it into third place. Just behind the Maserati Ghibli S, which is another all wheel drive saloon car like this. will be on with a less you know, kind of sporting credentials. Let's see, this is a car from Nissan and somewhat based on the Nissan GTR. Disappointing time there, but hopefully we can uh, at least slightly improve to get to at least second place in this final lap. We're not all that far off of that Maserati. And there we go, 1 minute 21.084 seconds, which doesn't mean that it beats the Ford Focus RS, as it's near enough 0.3 of a second off that car. But it does royally beat the uh, Maserati Ghibli S by more than a second, and uh, therefore it's not only faster than that all-wheel drive saloon car, but it's also faster than all-wheel drive uh, SUVs like the Levante S from Maserati as well, and the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. And uh, yeah, far beats uh, other all-wheel drive saloon cars like the Subaru Legacy. And uh, I don't think we've actually taken any other all-wheel drive saloon cars out there. But there are rear-wheel drive saloon cars that did far worse, like the Cadillac CTS3 sedan and the Kia Stinger GT. So uh, yeah, that's pretty damn good. I imagine if it did have about the same amount of weight as that Ford Focus RS, which was about 400 pounds lighter than this, it would have been able to at least match it if not beat it, so because uh, yeah this car is a better handling car than that Ford, it had better brakes certainly and uh, yeah was able to manage its power a little bit better even though obviously at some points it was you know over revving trying to put the power down but outside of that yeah pretty damn good car and uh, yeah more than reinforces the reasons why I like the car so much because in stock form it's uh, good handling, very powerful car that has plenty of speed and acceleration on the go and uh, yeah, with the amount of power that I've given it, just sh even with its original engine, just shows that it can put that deal with that power to a reasonable extent to put in a uh, cracking lap time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.